good morning guys it's january 9th monday morning we got a serimi halo right here you can maybe see it i don't know if y'all can see that or not that's what we're going to install this morning it's actually a Remy LED. He went with the better one. And uh, got us our transformer here, 40 VA transformer to power it. I see a lot of guys that power those things off the transformer that's already in the unit. Don't do that. That is not a good idea. That's, you need to, these Remy stay on all the time. They don't cut on and off. They stay on all the time. You need to put its own transformer. So, uh, anyway, we're going to go install this Remy Halo this morning. A uh, guy called me, and he's got bad allergies. He said even his dog has allergies and takes allergy pills. So he's done some research, and he, he wanted the Remy. He's like, do you sell the Remy's? I said, yeah. I said, I, I recommend the LED one, though. He's like, yeah, that's the one I want. So I gave him a quote over the phone without looking at his job. You know, but I mean, which is something you could kind of quote over the phone as long as his plenum is, and he's got a brand new system. It's only a couple years old. So, I mean, as long as there's nothing thrown off. And I told him that, I said, now, if I get there and I see that, you know, something's thrown off or whatever, you know, we may have to revisit that price. I said, but we should be okay. And he was fine with that. So we're going to go install this this morning. And if he's not a helicopter, we'll get some footage on it. All right. So we have the Remy installed and this is Doug board. I've got the gasket on there, but I'm going to put some tape on it because I obviously I can't screw the duck board, but I'm going to seal it up with some tape all the way around real good. I hope you guys can even see what I'm doing here. So I bought a transformer, but it actually comes with its own transformer. So I didn't really need to buy it, but that's okay. We'll just keep it on the truck for stock. It'll get used. This is just regular foil tape, not mastic tape. I do not use mastic tape on duck board. Oh yeah, this is gonna hold it really well. This is the first time I've ever put one in duck board. Normally I like to screw them, but it's just not possible. I've lost my squeegee. Normally I would squeegee this, but oh yeah, that's that's not going anywhere unless somebody comes in here and yanks on the dang thing. Okay. You see? I mean somebody would really have to come yank on it. I've got the airflow facing the right way. So now we're going to move down to the furnace 
and wire up the transformer. We're going to install this warning light. Install date, today's the 9th. Oh, one, oh, nine, 23. All right. Yeah, see, it comes with its own transformer. And I had bought one. But that's okay. We'll just keep it on the truck for stock, like I said. All right, move down here to the furnace. Usually have a here we go. Turn the power off to the furnace. Gas line right in front of the door. You gotta love it. This is another one of those hanging units. By that same company that does that. Forgot to bring a light up here. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me see if I stop shine my cell phone light. There we go. It also comes with screws to mount it if you're doing sheet metal. It comes with wire nuts, which I need to go grab out the box. Black is 120, white is common. The transformer is mounted, but we don't. Okay, so yeah, that, that stays like that. I'm just gonna leave the lid off. So we're using black and white.
I hope this will reach. It's not going to reach. Uh, it's going to be close. Okay, let's see where I'm going to tie it in at. I should have brought my tool bag up here. Let me go get my tool bag. All right, I got my tool bag and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna piggyback into the transformer. So I'm gonna put some spade terminals on here, but I don't want to mount this too high because I'm worried about the cord reaching but I can extend the cord I can just put some thermostat wire on there I can also pull as much slack because this isn't going to reach and this one isn't going to reach. And then that's the transformer line in, but I need a piggyback spade and it's not going to reach unless I mount this like that. And that, you know what, that might work. get a piggyback spade or a double spade what I like to call them piggybacks okay this is Primary one. There we go. And then this one will go to neutral. foot there you go.
it looks like there's a extra neutral already so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch no that's l2 i'm going to leave that alone Jesus Christ. Okay, I must have it pushed on there all the way. And I'm going to put a screw right there to hold that in place. Some five sixteen screws that'll work. Okay. I'm happy with that. That'll hold. We're going to cut these two and cap them. because they still have power passing through them. Okay, I'm gonna keep the extra wire nuts. I'm also gonna keep these screws. And now I've gotta see if my plug is gonna reach it's not. Nope. Oh, I just need a little bit more slack to, if I could get the slack out of that box, that would be enough. It did. It gave me, I mean, just enough. Can't go anywhere. See if that LED lights up. Yeah, I can hear it coming on. It should be lit up. Oh, no. 
cozy. And then the uh, roof vent comes out. That little screen in front of it. Uh huh. That fills up because of the. Oh, heat. they have the dryer vent running through the roof. Yes, sir. Oh. How stupid is that? That that is just. How stupid is that? Man. Yeah. Hence that why, that's a first one for me. Hence why I was thinking about the booster. Yeah. Because the is really gonna have to push hard to get everything all the way up there. Yeah. That's no, they should they shouldn't have ran it that way. Well, let me ask you this. Uh, Come back and say, hey, I want to. Yeah. I I did I did more airflow calls when I worked for them because I was a service tech. I wasn't an installer. I was I had, I was the guy that had to go behind the installers. And uh I did man, I bet you I did more air Oh uh, everything everything I did was a everything I did was a go back. They're sending what? Apprentices. Oh yeah. Themselves. Yeah, because they don't have true techs that know anything. Right. All right, so we got it tied on there nice and tight. Well, whenever you're ready to uh, settle up, just let yourself in the garage door here. My office is across the hall to the left. Okay, I'll be there shortly. Yes, Thank you, bud. Thank you, man. Can you just leave the box right here? Okay. The green light means it's on and working. And I taped it really well. And like I said, unless you tug the sh crap out of it, it's not going anywhere. All right, guys, that's it. We're done. Easy little job.